Nikki Haley wants us all to work until we die. I mean, it's just not going. I mean, it's not going well for her. This is just, this is just not going well for you. Let's uh, let's put this up and then we'll play. We'll play some reaction. It's about a minute video. She maybe thought she was killing it. I I'm assuming. It's this is not good. So let's listen to Nikki Haley and listen how she wants us to work literally until we literally just fall out into our grave. She wants us to fall out from our shift directly into our grave. That's what she wants. Here is Nikki Haley. Well, you know, you've got multiple candidates on that stage that said they wouldn't touch entitlements, including Trump. And any candidate that says they're not going to touch entitlements means that they're basically going to go into the uh, go into office and then leave America bankrupt. Social Security is going to mm -hmm. go bankrupt in 10 years. Medicare is going to go bankrupt in eight. So the way we deal with it is we don't touch anyone's retirement or anyone who's been promised in. But we go to people like my kids in their 20s when they're coming into the system and we say the rules have changed. Changed. We change retirement. You might think, well, wow, well, it's, you know, she sent even her kids, like her, like her kids. What do you mean? Her kids that's part of a, that is going to have generational wealth that's not going to use this anyway. What, what are you talking about? That's why she's willing to supposedly throw her own kids under the bus here. Her kids is not going to be using that. No rich person's kids going to be on this using this social security shit, okay? They have generational wealth. She knows that. That's why she can uh, uh, optically and publicly act like she's throwing her own kid on the bus when she knows that's not the case. Okay? For those that want to give her credit. Saw that deal with it is we don't touch anyone's retirement or anyone who's been promised in, but we go to people like my kids in their 20s when they're coming into the system and we say the rules have changed. We change retirement age to reflect life expectancy. Instead of cost of living increases, we do it based on inflation. We limit the benefits the on the wealthy and we expand Medicare Advantage plans. What's the right age there then, Ambassador? Well, I think we have to do the numbers. We've got to figure out what it is. But what we do know is 65 is way too low and we need to increase that. 65 is way too low. 65. Like I said, they want you working until you're going to die. What do you mean we need to go by life expectancy? So if the life expectancy is 77, we're supposed to l l work until 77 and then just die. Didn't I tell you? They want us to go from our shift die and fall directly into the grave that's what they want but let's listen to that again this is the last part so we do it based on inflation we limit the benefits the on the wealthy and we expand medicare advantage plans what's the right age there then ambassador well, I think we have to do the numbers. We've got to figure out what it is. But what we do know is 65 is way too low. Way too low. Not just to too low. That. We need to do it according to life expectancy. Well, you know, you've got multiple candidates on that stage that said they wouldn't. Not just too low. Way too low. <laughs> it's too many damn 65-year-olds just sitting on their ass when they could be working. According to Nikki Haley. <sighs> I love this one here. This one's from Monica, friend of show, friend of network. Black Bernie Barbie. Look at her meme to this. You raggedy bitch. <laughs> um, now look at this one. Carl Zob, friend of show, friend of network. He was just on our last summit. He was on a panel with um, Shama Sawant. At 54, China's average retirement age is too low according to the economist now nick covered this um but china's average retirement age is 54 and she is saying 65 is way too low clown shit and then auntie margaret here first of all nimrata that's her actual name it's not nikki Full retirement is 67. Medicare and Social Security are not going broke. You're a liar. You just want us all to live like dogs. Spot on, Auntie Margaret. Let's see if there's any more good uh, clapbacks here. Wow. There has to be. There's 2,000. Oh, she getting ratio. 
There's 2,000 quote tweets. This cannot be good for her or her campaign that's already polling like at 3,000, at 3%. Here's uh, Nina Turner even calls her out. Remember, the life expectancy for black men in the United States is 68. So shout out Nina Turner and then Glenn Greenwald. So this brings out everybody. Okay? Everybody goes after her. So Glenn Greenwald says this. Nikki Haley has the same views or view as the billionaire heir owners of the New York Times. We must continue to send hundreds of billions, if necessary, indefinitely to Kiev or the Ukraine war. But we must also tell Americans that our debt is too high and therefore they must prepare for cuts to Social Security and Medicare. How can both of these be true? How can it be true that we can send 100 plus billion to Ukraine, but we don't have enough money for Social Security and Medicare? How are both of those two things true? In other words, if this is your household, how do we have, uh, you know, how do we have uh, $100,000 to take these trips to Europe and Brazil and, uh, you know, Argentina, but we don't have $400 to go get groceries? Huh? Let's continue. Oh, Bree calls it out too. Here's Bree. And what she puts up is the U.S. just lost 26 years worth of progress on life expectancy. That's true. Our life expectancy is going down. Didn't I tell you? They want us to be there. They want us to die from our, our shift on our job and der fall directly six feet under into our grave site. That's what they want. <laughs> Empire of Lies says, guess what the retirement age is in Ukraine? 60. So the retirement age is in, in Ukraine is 60. She doesn't want that for us. And guess who's paying the salaries of Ukrainian government workers and their pensions? American taxpayers. So it's okay for us to pay for somebody else in Ukraine to retire earlier than 60, but 60 is way too low for us. And guess who wants to send endless billions to Ukraine, Nikki Haley? Isn't that, isn't it time for America to look out for Americans? I mean, obviously, this is terrible of Nikki Haley to, to say anything like this. This is my favorite um, sort of reaction uh, of her. That's a new one somebody just put up. So there's a couple of new ones some people just put up here. But um, just completely out of touch. I mean, and you you know, all of the PMC class, even like Kyle Kalinske, most of mainstream media are saying Nikki Haley won the debate because of her policies. When we were covering it, Nikki Haley did not even come up as one of the people who won the debate at all. She didn't come up as Medicare a close second. Go. She didn't come up at all. 